Okay, here's another League of Legends game coming your way, this time from the jungle. So, there was a dodge in the previous lobby and the enemy team had Nocturne. Let's see if that person is still here. Since Nocturne actually isn't that popular, like the only time you see him on the channel is when I'm playing him, so it's kind of nice to actually get a perspective elsewhere, you know. Otherwise, in terms of characters, I'm not sold on the Jin. The Mal's and the Nasus are solid. Okay, they locked in Shin. There is someone I actually want. Do I want to do that now? Because... Yeah, let's do it. So I need my Predator page. That's charge. And folks, the doctor is in. So change sorcery to this one. I want revitalize because of the way his ult works. And then I can either go tenacity or conditioning. I want the unflinching so I can run in there. So this one is not going to help, so we want to change this to Chief Shot. The Eyeball Collection we want to replace with... Let's do Zombie Ward, I guess. And this one I want to be the Ability Damage Heal. I am going to take Flat. Eh. Yeah, we'll take Flash. Like, the trade-off is, normally I'd go Ghost, but the thing is, Azir. He can put up his wall, and depending on where it is, that can actually completely block me from entering a fight. So, the next best thing is taking Flash and trying to jump the wall. So both Jin and MF are running Comet. Like, one of the best lanes for me to gank, well, there's two, either top or bot. Mid, we kind of could do it because of the way the Mal's ult works. But otherwise, for Mundo, if I didn't take Predator, I'd have to take Grasp of the Undying or something, and that's not really that helpful for junglers at the moment. They were trying to uh, change it so that it does different things, but... Yeah. So I don't know if I actually have any bonus health like this. We can look. Nope, it only gives me the AD. Something I'm gonna... T actually, Mundo has new icons. Passive is still the healing. Q is still cleaver. I think I'm gonna start Q. Until this die. is really reckless. But they got the flash. So Q is cleaver, you throw out, slows, deals percent HP damage, refunds of contact, complete refund of kills. W is burning agony, you set yourself on fire, get tenacity, yada yada yada. E is masochism, your next attack deals bonus damage, or deals damage scaling off your health and you get AD also. Then finally your ult is sadism, you sacrifice a fifth of your health, and then you rapidly heal. You also get movement speed. So I wanted to try Mundo after the whole healing from ability damage thing, because that may alleviate how dangerous some of his clears could be originally. So, very nice leash, boys. So the litmus test for this is right here. And I'm not entirely impressed. Potion ticking. Overall, I think going machete is probably going to be better. First blood. Oh, 
Oh my god. It should have kept running away from him, but no. It can't fucking do that, can it? So that was MF that died. And the thing is, since Nasus didn't really do much for the whole Azir move, I'm locked out of that lane for the time being. Let's see if I can get the bottom crab. Don't know where Leona went. But anyway, now we should be clearing with some speed. This will give me the bonus health for the Kindle effect, and then we will um, just have more regen here, the additional burn, and so on. So ganking him could be an option if he was Oom, but he's not, so Mal should be piecing out already and porting back into lane. So I'm turning my W off because I don't need to pay the health per second. Smiting this because I want to go bot. She killed herself. Lee Syndrome, I'm guessing. <laughs> so let's get the boots. And believe it or not, now is when my ganks are actually going to start to hurt. It's also really bad on Shin's part that I'm actually out-pressuring him as a tank jungle, let alone Mundo. Actually, I got here a lot faster than I thought I would. How are you so fast? Hmm. I wonder. So if he's not going to look at my keystone, I'm not going to help him. Let's get on down here.
enjoy the blue gin. So I'm kind of curious. I'm suspecting there's a pre-made here because these guys are getting stomped way too easily. Should still have him. Nasus took the small ones, and that is perfectly fine. Now, in terms of boots, I'm tempted to go Lucid's for the CDR, Summer Spell CDR. that way too late. Q him. Keep the Qs going. You have him. Shut down. Let's grab this. I'm going to go for Earth Drag. So this is usually a little dangerous when you don't have your ult up, but the trade-off is I do have MR, so I can shield some of the magic breath. I'm willing to give that to him if he can make use of it. So E should work on towers. Oh crud. It's a Nasus, man. They don't move. <laughs> like, this one doesn't even have the coin. So keep in mind, he doesn't have his ult at the moment. She's 
gonna CC you. So I actually do have all the stacks. Battle. He's gone. Kind of needs an hourglass. <laughs> so, the bad news about trying to fight down here is I don't have any armor for MF. I'm gonna push this out. Shin is ahead of me in level. That's a little surprising. Then again, he's been doing a lot more farming than I have. So Jin's fourth shot was that nasty, who would have guessed.
hoping I can take this fast and get to the fight. I need more tenacity. Plus this will help me clear the chickens a little faster. So with it dealing more damage, the ability healing aspect of the rune will cause me to heal more. Nasus can take the chickens, he can take whatever. I want the tenacity. <laughs> so I want this so I can run in on them. Nasus has Fromel. I need to drop this pink horde, man. So this actually amplifies my damage, since I deal magic damage. Someone got caught. Tower is here. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. And then I can tank this. I'm freaking Mundo. Got him. Yeah, I ran her down a few times. And now this is very much an option because I can tank it. <laughs> So here's where that double earth dragon comes into play. Yeah, let's go back in one final round. Wow, triple earth dragon? <laughs> it's a shame they don't have much of a base left. At this point I want the tenacity. I should have enough health regen to cover the cost of the spell. So I'm just going to leave it on. 
Now, I don't know if self-damage will interfere with the uh, Predator. Don't fight. Anyone want this? We'll sacrifice Nasus, I guess. He shouldn't be that far up. So for their final tower, we now have a bonus when taking it. Fishman. Oh, hey, there's a tower here? Since when? So what happened to Nasus at the end? Did he die on the fountain or something? Because I don't see him here. I see Tarek. Then you have to dance on the base so they know who the boss is. And I have to admit, I definitely do like Predator Mundo. But part of it, I think, is more negligence on their part rather than it being really overpowered or anything. So solid S. That should have counted 11 towers. <laughs> yeah. In terms of damage, I actually outdamaged Nasus and Mal's. Wow. Damage taken, that went to Nasus since he was the punching bag. And I, if Fizz were here, I would explain, hey, it was the uh, Predator, was how I ran you down that first time, but... Oh well. So anyway, Mundo, someone we haven't seen for a while, and hey, we got a box. La-dee-da. Anyway, I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.